All right, guys, I'm gonna attempt to get myself um, comfortable here. <laughs> I am getting far too large for this. Um, oh, oh my goodness gracious. I like need to <laughs> find a comfortable um, position here, which is easier said than done at this point. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I keep looking down, but I have my um, iPad set up, so now like I can see the view viewfinder because it's far away. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, um, real quick, <clears throat> before we get into today's pregnancy diaries, um, I just went to five below, and you're going to see in a couple of vlogs, uh, if not actually, mm, no, maybe like two vlogs from now, um, I was just filming today. My daughter and I went to five below, and I actually found that they had some cute pajama pants so I really want to change into a pair I got a pair with dinosaurs <laughs> super cute I figured I could also use them for the hospital in January and then I got ones with like um, I think they're cats and dogs and unicorns on them so I think I'm gonna wear these so I'm gonna change into them super fast get comfortable and then we will um, talk oh I also got a new um, brush holder because I <clears throat> I already have one but I wanted one for my face brushes and then one for my eye brushes because I only had one of these and it was getting a little too full so I picked up another one of those as well all right let me change real quick and then we'll get started okay so while I'm already kind of in the up position um, I will show you guys my belly so we are currently 30 weeks pregnant in like three days or something. Let me move to the side. Big boy. Look, I have like midriff. Um, I definitely knew I should have bought these pants though in a medium. I, uh, <laughs> I can't move my legs. I had a feeling that they would be too short, which is what I always deal with because I wear a small around the waist, but every time I get a small, they're always short on my legs because I have really long legs, but kind of a small torso. So I always deal with like pants being too short and I knew I should have gotten a size bigger, but I didn't. So I'm just going to have to like roll these up or something. I also need some support. Oh my gosh. I'm like also completely out of breath. <laughs> I'm just like a ball full of attraction right now, you guys. Just wait till we talk about what we're going to talk about. So, I also have a cup of ice here. I have been um, craving chewing on ice cubes. <clears throat> Same thing happened with my pregnancy with Ella. It's something like super comforting. I know it's not good for my teeth, but it's all I want to do. <laughs> I feel like some people will be super into like, ice chewing ASMR videos though. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so let's catch my breath. Let's talk about what's going on with this pregnancy diaries. Um, so it's kind of crazy. We have less than 10 weeks left and that's if I go full term. Um, again, I'm due January 29th. I hadn't mentioned my due date in quite a while. So I figured maybe if you're new to my channel, or just haven't kept up with pregnancy diaries, I would just remind you guys, the end of January. So that means if he's late, like Ella was, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not, please. Um, he'll be born in February, and I just say that because I am so flippin' tired. <laughs> I am physically drained. Um, any sort of mundane task I feel like I weigh 600 pounds and I get super winded super easily. Even climbing onto the bed was this big prog process. So um, I do still work five days a week when Ella goes to school, but I think that will soon be, soon be changing. I originally wanted to leave mid-December, basically right before the holidays, like Christmas. Um, I was going to work through, you know... Um, Thanksgiving and everything which is this week so I originally wanted to work until mid-December but 
<laughs> my back <laughs> my back is experiencing a lot of pain and we're going to talk a lot about today what kind of happened um unfortunately i forgot my phone downstairs which i'm just now realizing it's actually almost dead too because usually i show you guys the app um but i know the baby is about about four pounds at this point um it's so crazy. He's getting so big and he's going to be here literally before we know it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed last Pregnancy Diaries as well, like the three-part video. That Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I finally got all that stuff pretty much away um, or like found a temporary home while we're still working on his room. Um, but like I said, the last time like I looked at the app, it should have been about four pounds. And he's basically... He's mostly sleeping. Um, I definitely know when he's awake and he kind of has a pattern now. Um, he wakes up and moves around a lot if I'm eating something or at night. <laughs> like his favorite time is like nine o'clock at night. He'll wake up and start kicking me like crazy. Um, I believe I mentioned heartburn in my last pregnancy diaries that is still like it's bad, like bad, 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 especially at night when I'm trying to lie down. Like I feel like my whole chest and my whole, like my throat is on fire. Um, it's actually led me to vomit like quite a bit um, at night because it's just so painful and I just feel like I have to get like the, I think it's acid, or like it's like reflux. I don't, I don't even know what it is, but um, basically it's pushed up into my esophagus and I just have to like get it out so it's led me to kind of being sick so I kind of feel like I'm back in my first trimester if you guys remember how sick I was um not as bad of course but um there are some nights that I hold it down and then other nights that um I just really have to get sick but I was told to avoid like super greasy foods or acidic foods sodas stuff like that um so that's something that I'm dealing with pretty much on a nightly basis. Um, this morning I woke up. Well, okay, we'll, t we'll talk about that. So this Pregnancy Diaries in particular, I always had tried to give you guys like a disclaimer. If I'm going to talk about something pretty nauseating <laughs> um, or intense in my Pregnancy Diaries, I like to let you guys know before I start talking about it. I mean, the title is called Pregnancy Diary, so if you clicked on this video, <laughs> you might be prepared to hear whatever I have to talk about, but I've been trying to be more open with you guys and not ashamed to be online talking about these things because I feel like, you know, it's real life and you guys are able to connect with me easier if I just come on here as a normal person and I'm talking about, like, real life issues, you know what I mean? So, like... I don't really want to monetize myself too, too much when talking about this stuff, um, even though it's quite embarrassing. So with that being said, I'm going to talk to you guys a bit about what's going on today. And um, you're going to hear again me talk about it in like a couple of vlogs. But that's because like I was vlogging today, but this video is going to get pushed out to you guys. So um, you might hear me repeat a couple of things uh, in a couple of videos. So I apologize for that. But Last night, I noticed something about my body that was not normal. Um, I, with my area. <laughs> I'm also trying to be, like, I'm not trying to tiptoe around areas, but like YouTube is so touchy with certain words being said um, that I also don't want to get like demonetized because this is my, like part, part of my job too. So I, I'm not necessarily trying to tiptoe because I'm trying to be PG. I'm just trying not to get demonetized. Susan's watching. <laughs> um, so something didn't seem right with my private area and it freaked me out. I started googling. Now because my belly is so big I can't see like my feet if I'm standing up. I can't see anything past my belly. Um, so it's not like I'm checking if everything is like correctly working from my ways down every day, you know what I mean? So last night I happened to use the restroom before going to bed and I noticed something that was there that probably shouldn't have been there, um, like inside. And it freaked me out. I immediately thought that I've explained this to TJ and I've explained this to my mom and the way that I put it 
to give you guys the best visual, I guess, is obviously it's not, it, and it, it's like, it's definitely not, but like if you could just imagine the baby's head starting to show. That's the best way that I can explain what I saw last night. This is so embarrassing. You don't even know. Like I, oh my gosh. Okay. So I saw something that absolutely freaked me out. So I ended up coming upstairs. TJ was already kind of like in that falling asleep stage. And I'm like, I don't mean to wake you, but like, I'm just concerned. I wasn't having any cramps, no bleeding. Um, <clears throat> I know when I went to when I went into labor with Ella, I felt very short of breath, and with this pregnancy, I feel short of breath all the time. <laughs> um, with her, it happened like right before I went into labor, um, so that wasn't like any indication that I was going into labor because again, that had been normal throughout this whole pregnancy. Um, but I was short of breath. Um, my back hurt really, really bad. I was having urinary leakage <laughs> oh my gosh okay there there went my dignity right out the window bye i'll see you after this video i was basically having all this so, so we so we did googling we didn't really know like what to do i didn't want to call my doctor right away especially because i wasn't in any pain i just noticed something that wasn't quite right so we ended up googling which I think is a good thing and a bad thing. It can scare you for sure. It scared me, but I also got kind of a little bit educated. Um, and all my symptoms kind of, we did some um, traumatizing Google image searching as well. And I think I have or have a, I think it's called a prolapsed uterus. If I'm saying that wrong, I'll correct myself in text down here. But I believe, I believe that's what it was called. Where basically your uterus kind of falls. I don't know if it's your uterus or your cervix. I'm not a doctor. I'm not quite sure. But something drops and can be like physically seen. So, you know, I was matching all the symptoms. The urinary leaking, the back pain. Um, I think it said headaches. Um, stuff like that. I don't know. So... TJ and I agreed not to call the doctor that night. I didn't feel like it was too serious, but in the morning to call the on-call call, on call doctor because um, it's the weekend. So we, you know, my OBGYN wasn't going to be open until Monday and my next appointment isn't until December 4th. So I didn't want to wait that long. So I called them this morning. I felt okay. I woke up last night and my like, I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but my entire right leg and foot was completely cramped up um, and they said something about like leg fatigue or something so I, I don't know I could be thinking too much into that I called a doctor and uh, I, I basically talked to an assistant and gave her as much information as I was comfortable giving uh, an assistant so they told me that their doctor would call me back, but that she was in the middle of surgery. So it might be like a half hour to an hour. So I, I texted TJ and just let him know, hey, I, I called the doctor. I'm waiting for them to get back to me. I also called my mom because I just, I mean, she's my mom. <laughs> you know, I was a little worried because some of the stuff that I read on Google, like this one lady had a prolapsed uterus. She was 30 weeks and two days pregnant, which the night this happened, I was 30 weeks and two days pregnant. And she went into premature labor and had a preemie baby like 10 weeks early. She had to have an emergency C-section, like all this stuff that scared me. I'm, I'm scared of C-sections. I'm scared of IVs. No, no, no. <laughs> Natural for me. Um, so basically, I was just kind of trying to like inform everybody of what was going on. So my mom said that she would feel more comfortable if I went over to her house and we could talk about it and wait for the doctor to get back to us. So I basically got ourselves ready. I packed Ella up. We went over to her house. Um, my friend Amber ended up coming over as well. And I was just, I was basically explaining to them everything that I told you guys. So the doctor end up, ends up calling back almost two hours later. And I'm explaining everything to her, everything that I've said to you. Um, I actually told her that was a, there was a bit of like a burning sensation as well, um, but not like painful. Like it was just more like a discomfort. And she didn't seem 
to be concerned at all. She said that if I really wanted to be seen, that I could make an appointment earlier than my December 4th appointment, but like I should be okay. But if I notice any like bleeding especially or if things seem to get worse, um, to give them a call. So she left me with that. She just hung up. And <laughs> well, I said, you know, well, okay, the doctor doesn't really seem concerned. I'm not in pain. Um, I'm not bleeding. You know, we'll just, I'm just going to go throughout my day. So we ended up going to see Frozen, actually, Frozen 2, which was really good, by the, by the way. So that's what I've been dealing with all day. Um, last night, I was really not able to sleep just purely out of fear of what was going on, but... Um, the doctor made me feel better that, you know, I explained everything and she wasn't like, okay, you need to be seen immediately. They said they wanted to check me out, but it was something that I could wait, wait for. Um, so I don't know, I, I'm a, you know, I'm a little bit worried when I go in for my next appointment, like what they're going to say and stuff. And actually when I'm looked at what they're going to say, but, um, yeah, that's what I've been dealing with all day today. So that's been a ton of fun. But other than that, I mean... Guys, I just want this pregnancy over. <laughs> um, I, knew I, I know I kept saying like I couldn't wait for this pregnancy and I was so excited to be pregnant. I am because it's going to lead to me having my son. But like this pregnancy has been so different than my first one. And I know that they say every pregnancy is different, but this child's killing me. <laughs> Another thing that I have to note is one of the reasons that I wasn't majorly concerned about going to be seen right away is that Hunter has still been kicking and he's still been super active. So if I was experiencing all of these symptoms and then like not feeling him at all, I would have been seen. Like I would have just gone to the ER. Um, that's super important, but he's been kicking me all day. He's been his normal active self. Um, so I didn't, and like last night too, nine o'clock, he was up kicking me. So um, I didn't feel the need and I still don't feel the need at the moment to take any drastic actions. So, you know, of course I'm gonna be like monitoring myself over the next like week and a half till my next appointment when I can actually get like a good diagnosis. But, um, you know, at the moment I feel much better than I did last night, um, even though I haven't really technically been seen. Um, I'm able to still like use the restroom and everything. So it's not like preventing me from just going about my normal life. Um, I think it was just something that like visually scared the crap out of me. <laughs> but like I said, after explaining it to a doctor, they're, them not being that concerned, them saying that this happens, not very often, but it does happen, um, makes me feel a little bit better that, you know, obviously I know I'm not the only one, but uh, for to talk to somebody who has seen or dealt with it before um, made me feel a little bit better. So, um, you know, I'll update you guys, of course, as the pregnancy diaries continue. We're almost done, which is crazy, but um, unless like something serious happens, you know, I'll, you know, I'll let you guys know what goes on, um, what they say when I actually get looked at and stuff, because I think that's super important, not only to educate myself, but educate anyone who might be watching, who might go through the same thing, kind of give them like a peace of mind. You know, everything that I read scared the crap out of me. I hope that this video can reach a uh, a mother someday who might be experiencing the same thing and say, okay, it's okay to take a deep breath, call your doctor for sure. Um, but just, you know, we're good. <laughs> we're, we're good. You know, the, the most important thing is your baby's health. Uh, this pregnancy has just been very, very stressful and we're nearing the end of it. Um, but I think a, a lot of what I read online about how to um, kind of prevent this from happening is to not do any heavy lifting, which um, I definitely have cut way back on. Like work doesn't let me lift a finger anymore. I think the heaviest thing that I lift is Ella once in a blue moon. Um, it, it's not very rare that I pick her up, uh, especially at this point in my pregnancy. Um, but, and they said a lot of bed rest as well. So I'm thinking about 
when I was mentioning that I think I'm going to be leaving work mid-December, I might just be leaving earlier because I really just need to take care of my body and my back really hurts and I just feel like super exhausted by the end of my shifts and I only work like four to five hours a day, which is not a very long shift, um, but that's like kind of a telling sign for to me if I'm like that exhausted after a short shift like that. Um, I really need to just get off my feet, rest my back. I'm a very active person. I don't like being someone who just like lounges around all day. It drives me nuts. I always feel like I have to be doing something or I feel like guilty for not doing something like chores or editing or filming or whatever, like just something. Um, but I think I just need to do it for myself and for this baby and for the rest of this pregnancy. So I might be leaving work soon. I don't know. Um, definitely check out my vlogs on an update for that because uh, I'm not I'm not sure what I'm going to do at this very moment. But I might be leaving a little sooner than I think maybe at the end of this month um, and still w in instead of waiting till the middle of the next. So we'll see. Anyways, guys, <laughs> thank you so much for listening to me ramble forever. Oh my gosh, long video, I apologize. But thank you so much um, also for listening if you listen to this disgusting story today. But I always tell my disgusting and embarrassing stories in hopes that it can reach somebody else and give you a peace of mind or inspire you or be helpful in some sort of way. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.